kick off this lesson by going into your working folder and opening up the document that we used in the previous lesson. You remember, good old 609 underscore 340 And let's talk about another filter here. I want to talk about a variation on something called the high pass filter. Now, if you go up to the word filter on the pull down menu and go down to sharpen, you can see you do have a lot of sharpening filters, including a new one called shake reduction but we'll talk about that one in another chapter. You have all these sharpening filters. One of my absolute favorite ways to sharpen an image is to use a variation of high pass. In my opinion, it is one of the best ways to sharpen an image if you're going out to print. I love the visual aspect of this particular filter, but it wasn't designed primarily for sharpening. It's just something we came up with. Now to start out, we need a copy of this layer right here. Easiest, absolute easiest way to do this is reach over on your keyboard and hold down the control key on Windows, command key on a Mac, and press the letter J, instant copy. This is what we are going to apply our filter to. Now we could do smart filter, I'm not gonna bother, but you could if you want to. Let's go up to the word filter, go right down into other high pass. In high pass, it does look for edges, it identifies edges and smooths out just about everything else. And of course, edges are shifts in brightness. You can go really far with it and go crazy. That's kind of an interesting look. But let's take that back down. About like that, where you can see it, but it's not that pronounced. So that number is going to vary based on your image. Click OK. Now we have that one, and we have this one. Go back up here, go to the blending modes on layer 1, and select Overlay. Now look what happens when I turn this one off. Watch around their faces, in their eyes, things like that. Look at her hair up here when I turn it on and off. A subtle sharpening effect that really does work. Now if it's not enough, make a copy of this one. I'll do another Control on Windows, Command on Mac, J. Let's combine these two together with a Control E, Command E on a Mac. That's merged down. If I turn it off now, you can see how it actually is visually sharpening the image. Now, if this is too much, don't forget you can control it with opacity. Lower it down just a little bit. Blend the original in. Now you see it, now you don't. I think that is one of the best ways, especially if you're going out to print, to do the sharpening of the image. 